Look at that. Yes! You will die! Send all of your minions! Send them all to their doom! You fools! How do they keep reproducing? They must be just making sweet love like bunny rabbits. Where are they getting all these soldiers? How is their population able to support such death? Hey, hey, what's going on, folks? Hope you're doing awesome possum. Today, we're checking out a pretty kick-ass looking roguelite tower defense game called Nordhold Origins. It's got a very cool medieval Nordic theme to it, which I'm all about. What's special about Nordhold Origins is it's a roguelite, which basically means that the game is set up in a way that intends for you to fail over and over, but every time you fail, you level up a little bit, you unlock some, some new cool stuff and things, you get a little stronger, you get a little bit more powerful, so the following runs are a little bit easier, and you just kind of progress your way up from there. Anyway, with that in mind, let's jump right in, shall we? There's going to be a little tutorial of sorts. I have played about 30 minutes of the game, just to get my little toesies a little wet there. All right, welcome to Nordhold. Build towers to defend your village and expand it with new buildings. This game will challenge you. Failure is inevitable, just like I was saying, but it will make you stronger. Learn from your mistakes and optimize your strategy as each game expands your possibilities through meta progression. All right, we got basic movement and stuff and things. Workers need houses. Workers are the backbone of your economic growth. Try to carefully balance economy and defense. So we can hire workers, we can build houses so that we can increase how many workers we can have in our kingdom at a time. To hire workers, we need 20 wheat. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and buy a, do we need a house? Let's not, let's not, uh, let's see, let's do one house. We got two out of four houses built. So we can hire a total of six workers, it says over here. We have three currently. There's also upgrades you can do. You can do an upgrade for 150 wood, and you can also do upgrades for meta points, which we don't have yet, so we're just gonna, just gonna pass on that for now. All right, there's also a lumberjack camp. This is where you can assign workers to get wood from. You can also do upgrades here as well. They do different things. We can do oak crusher upgrade. It increases the production of wood per worker from two to five. Or, or two two and then we could do to five and if we get 50 and this costs gold by the way gold's a whole other resource we'll talk about that later all right so we got a building navigation on the top left as well if we ever want to go over there on the right side we can assign workers you can add the plus or the minus let's assign our three workers to the lumberjack camp so we can get 45 wood every wave we have to defend our castle. This is the battlefield area down here with the little hexagons. We can build towers on them. Towers are in the bottom right corner of the screen. They require different resources and they all do different stuff and things. We Currently, we can build an arrow tower uh, for 10 wood. If you look up at the top middle right, we have 75 wood. So we can place this anywhere on a hex. If you look at the top above the little outline or the little blueprint of the tower it says plus one plus two so different tiles different hex tiles have different heights different elevations so if they're more elevated it'll give you extra range on the tower so let's do a plus two range it'll shoot extra far it'll shoot arrows right at their stupid little faces all right we need to clear the fog pressing explore randomly expands the battlefield enemies always spawn at the end of the path if the path splits into several directions, make strategic decisions accordingly. So let's click explore. Boom. Now we got some enemies coming. Let's see our arrow. Tower do its thing, baby. Does 100 damage to these little guys per hit. Beautiful dunzos. These guys are little babies. They got nothing. All right. Inspect your tower. So you can click on towers and it brings up this really crazy looking menu. It's really not that confusing though. You can do upgrades to towers. So they receive an upgrade discount after each wave once they have been built. Upgrade your towers strategically and utilize the focus settings to prioritize optimal targets. So over on the left panel, the bigger one, we can do upgrades. 
You can you can choose to upgrade damage, range, fire rate, crit chance, critical damage, accuracy, penetration, barrier damage, and all that crap. Um, and it lists out all the stats. And you can upgrade them additionally for extra gold as well. And as it said, we have a, a little focus menu here. So this tells you... This assigns the tower like what sort of enemy it should target as a priority. So it's set to default to target the enemies with most health, but you can do like least health, which is probably the one I'm gonna go for. And you can even prioritize different uh, in different stages. So there's a little number. So the first target is gonna be least health. Let's set the second for most health. And we could set a bunch of other ones. It gets kind of crazy, but uh, so we're just gonna leave it there. We're going to close that off. All right, so now we're kind of just doing our thing. There's a bunch of other buildings we can create. What do we got down here? A trading post. You can trade your goods goods at changing prices. A statue. Weird. I don't, I don't know what that does. You can do a tavern, which increases worker productivity so they generate more resources every every day. We can do a brewery, which needs to supply the tavern with the beer, with the booze, with the suds. We're not going to do that right now, though. We can do a mill, where we can harvest wheat. Let's do that. We can do a gold mine to generate gold. Let's do that. We need more workers, though, is what we need, folks. And in order to get more workers, we need more wheat. So let's reduce... Let's do only one worker on wood and one worker on wheat and one worker on gold production. Then after that, we can do a quarry, which allows us to start mining some stone. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. All right, there's not a whole heck of a lot to do here right now, guys. There are some upgrades we could do to the castle if we get some gold. We can do tax burden if we get 25 gold. We have zero gold right now. It says each worker generates one gold per wave. That would be useful. Economy budget. All building upgrades become 10% cheaper. That would be amazing. If we can get 10 gold, we should probably go for that. All right, we can do another tower here. Let's set it on a plus two tile. Elevated. Let's explore. Bring it on, gentlemen. Let's set this guy to prioritize lowest health as well. There's also speed controls in the bottom left. You can pause the game with space bar. You can also speed it up as well. We're in our defensive economy phase here. We're in the economy phase, not the defensive phase, so there's no speed. All right, so we're getting 15 wood every wave, 10 wheat and five gold. We need 40 wheat to hire another worker. That is expensive as hell. Damn. All right, not a whole lot we can do here, folks. Let's just do explore again. So you can pause if you're panicking and you need some time to think about stuff and things. Should be able to take these guys out. Hopefully. They are firing pretty slowly. Ooh. Ooh. Might be able to do it. Come on, get him. Get his ass. Yes. All right. We can choose a banner. So these are new powers. Banners are upgrades for your towers. You can only receive banner options for towers that have already been built on the battlefield. These banners reinforce all of your existing towers and any future towers you build. They also have different ratings. These are all just common ones. We could do barbed arrows. They inflict bleeding debuff on impact. And they slow the enemies as well. And they can do a stack of three. We could do one that increases arrow damage by 15% and gives me one wood every day per tower. We could just increase the fire rate of the towers by 24%. I think we're going to go with the bleeding because it's going to slow down the enemies as well. All right, so we have events, guys. If you look at the top right, there are various events in the game, such as the choice of banners. Further events will appear as you progress. Mysterious events await you. In the top right corner, you will find the event wheel where you can see when which event shall occur. So you can have enough time to plan strategically. 
So in the bottom left, you can see what wave we're on. We're on wave three. On wave five, we're gonna get to select a hero. Wave six, we get another banner choice. And wave nine, another banner choice. So you can kinda, you can kinda get a little forecast of the stuff and things you can expect here. All right, we can unlock a new tower type called the Vol Volcano Mo Mortar Tower. That was a mouthful for me for some reason. I don't know, my apologies. So it, it fires magma chunks, long range, inflicting area of effect damage. Let's see. Ooh, plus four if we place it right there. That's hot. That's hot. Let's do that. Yes. Make that happen, shall we? Okay. Okay. We can level up this tower back at the beginning here. What should we choose? Maybe just damage? So its damage now is 120 instead of 100. Beautiful. We also have 10 gold. We could do the economy budget upgrade. All building upgrades are 10% cheaper. Let's do it. Boom. Um, this over here requires 15 meta points. If you look at the bottom here, Oh, they're called honor points. We only have four of those. So no problem. Don't have enough wood to really do a whole lot. We could hire another worker. Boom, make it happen. Let's do some more wood. We're getting plus 30 wood every day now. We could do the quarry for 35 wood to make that happen. We need a person in there now, though. All right, we got one person in each of the buildings I have. Nice. It also keeps track of your current banner buffs and upgrades on the bottom left here. You can see my barbed arrows listed. All right, let's explore. Let's keep getting in there, baby. These guys are bandits. 100 HP so we can take them down with one hit. The magma thing's doing pretty well. Wait, these guys, what are those guys, rogues? They have 300 HP. Okay, those guys are... Oh, that guy's gonna make it through. He's gonna damage my shield. Ooh, see in the bottom left, we have 10 life points at our gate. We're down to nine. All right, we gotta level up on this tower. Let's go ahead and do... Could do critical damage. Chance. That could be kind of cool. Let's do that. That 15% now. If we could get that up to 100%, that'd be kind of wild. That'd be kind of cool. All right, we're going to need another tower. We don't have enough wood for that, though. That's unfortunate. Man, it's going to require 60 flipping wheat to get another worker. That's bonkers, dude. Not straight up crazy, bro. Not into that at all. All right, well, this is going to be a little rough, folks. Let's go. Let's make it happen. Look at those guys running through there. All right, we're going to take more damage. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, that guy's going to make it. Ah. I think we're okay. I think we're going to be all right. Man, that motor's awesome. All right, we get to choose a hero. Let's try Arnie out, guys, because he increases our arrow tower range. Actually, no, let's not focus on that because range is not that important with the arrow towers. Let's do this, guys. Let's do, let's do gold. The gold for upgrading is going to be good stuff. All right, next wave on wave six, we're going to get another banner choice, which is going to be absolutely baller. Man, it's taking a long time to level up stuff and things here, folks. That's okay. That's just how it goes, baby. All right, let's do another arrow tower up here. Where shall we place it, folks? Where shall we place it? Maybe right there? That's a pretty good spot. Not too shabby. 
Not too shabby at all. All right, so we have our hero. He can do a arcane strike. It deals 150 damage within a radius. Spell damage counts times two. And then he has a chain lightning jumps to three more targets than usual. Deals 200 damage to an enemy. Okay. So we can do an AoE if things get crazy. We can just do like that. Oh my gosh. All right. Chain lightning is pretty sweet. He's out of energy. There's a, you can see this little red number. Well, white, white number against a red banner. That's his energy. His energy resets every wave. So we've already used it up. It was probably a bad move to use it there, but that's okay. I was just kind of showing you guys what's up. Oh gosh, that's a lot of dudes. Oh, are we going to lose already? Oh, we're down to four life points on. <laughs> That's crazy, dude. Ooh, we could do wide blast. It's a rare. Increases the area of effect of the volcano mortar by 20%. We could increase the fire rate of our uh, arrow towers by 32%. Let's do that. That's a solid one, baby. That's a solid one right there. We can level up our Volcano Mortar. We could increase the fire rates. Let's make that happen. We could do another Arrow Tower as well. Okay. Mm. Plus four. Pretty badass spot. Okay, we have... We're getting a lot of gold right now. It's not bad. It's not bad. We do have honor points. We could do reinforced gate works. The town gate receives three, five, or ten more life points. Um, what about over here? Can't afford any right there. Can we upgrade the gold mine? You start the next game with 5, 10, or 15 gold. All right, so yeah, the meta unlocks stay for the next round, which is cool. That could be a good one, honestly. Ooh, we can also upgrade it for 4 gold to increase the gold production. Let's do that. Houses, we can't do that yet. We need 60 honor points. What about wood? We could, we could upgrade the wood permanently. We could start the next games with 10 extra wood for 15 honor points. Let's do that. We got 13 honor points left. Can we upgrade anything? No, we need 20. 20 honor points to do any reasonable upgrades here. Let's go ahead and explore. I do have my abilities. We do have those guys with the blue bars now. Those guys are kind of beefy. Okay, we're out of energy already. You guys don't really get all that much energy. It's kind of brutal. Your little hero units. Oh man, we, we might lose on this one. There's a lot of dudes. Oh, that's awesome. This volcano mortar is kicking ass. It's saving my life. Oh my gosh. All right, we can level up the tower over here. Let's do damage again, folks. Beautiful. Nothing else is leveled up yet. Remember, you can also level up your towers for gold. You don't have to wait for the free upgrade. How much does a arrow tower cost? An arrow tower costs 50 now? That's crazy, man. We need another mortar tower, folks. That's what we need here. Mortar towers are 30 stone. We're at 25. If we can survive this next wave, we'll be able to buy another one. Things are a little crazy. We're at 21 honor points, though. We could get some permanent honor. 
Harvest, head start. Your next games will start with 10 extra wheat. Let's do it. Golden fertility. The wheat production per worker is increased by two. Increase it by five. Beautiful. Did two upgrades right there. We're getting plus 15 wheat per wave now. Not bad. All right, let's explore. Things are getting crazy. Oh, by the way, let's pause. Let's set our focus priority of the mortar. I think there's a group setting. There is. Let's do groups as number one. And then most health at number two. Oh, a mortar in the middle would be amazing so it could hit on both sides. That'd be great. That'd be swell. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Let's do some lightning. Whatever that was, the arcane strike. Oh man, they're getting through. This ain't good, baby. This ain't good at all. No! We got three points, two points. Oh, it's done, Zos. But that's all right, baby. That's how it goes. We got plus 210 bonus honor. Okay, so they give you a lot of stuff at the end, and you can unlock perks with honor points. Oh, there's so many too, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. You can upgrade your castle, houses, lumberjack, camp, quarry, gold mine, mill, trading post, workshop, tavern, brewery, statue, all sorts of stuff, dudes. So yeah, they definitely make the game a lot easier after each wave because you can unlock all these new things. Reinforced gates. They give you three more life points. Heritage. Start the game with plus one workers. Let's do that. That's huge. Uh, we could do start the game with plus 10 wood. Let's start the game with plus 10 stone. That'd be massive as well. And you can upgrade it multiple times, it looks like. Yeah, you can. Okay. Let's start the game with more wheat. And that's pretty much all we can do. We can do reinforced gates for 15. There we go, baby. How do we continue? Play again? Let's play again, guys. I am just playing a review copy of the game, so it's not all unlocked for me, as you could probably see there. But that's okay. All right, let's hire another worker right away, build another house right away. Let's do the mill so we can get wheat let's do oak crusher to increase wood production let's do that two times so that's plus five wood every wave per worker we could put two workers each on wheat production and wood production let's build the gold mine let's move one of them from wheat to gold and now we're good to go baby could do a volcano mortar right away. Let's go ahead and do that. Ooh, plus four right there. It's real close to my flipping gate though, but I think we got to do it. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, beautiful dunzos, baby. What do we want to do now, folks? What do we got going on here? Could save up for that economy budget again. All building upgrades become cheaper. Still don't know what this stuff does. What is this down here? I still don't know what the statue does. Is there anything over here? I don't know. How big is this area? This place is huge, dude. All right, we're going to get a banner choice soon. Let's, uh, let's see. Arrow tower. Plus four. Ooh. Plus three. Ooh. Let's do the plus four and explore. 
could speed up the game. Nice. It's another good spot right there, plus four, but if we could do another volcano mortar over there, that'd be awesome as well. Let's build a quarry. Move one guy to the quarry. We need five more stone to do a volcano mortar tower. Let's save up for that, shall we? That would be awesome. And looks like I'm not able to do anything. We need 60 wheat for another worker. We're at 45, we'll have 55 next wave. Let's explore. Speed it up for you guys here. Nice, all right, we got our banner. We could re-roll to get potentially better or better uh, banners. We can increase the mortar area of effect. We could increase its range, but reduce fire rate. Let's re-roll. Ooh, wide blast again. Area of effect plus 20 for the mortar. Uh, let's go with it, guys. It's a little risky since we're... It's usually better to try to get arrow tower upgrades, in my opinion. That's okay. Let's do damage upgrade for the arrow tower at the beginning and we'll auto level that. So you can select the auto level option and it'll automatically apply that upgrade when it's available. We can upgrade the mortar as well. Let's do fire rate and let's upgrade it. Let's do auto level for fire rate as well. And we can do another mortar tower. Oh, this might be a good spot. This plus four right here, guys. Or maybe that plus three would be better in case it wraps around to this other side. Here, let's explore and then press pause. Okay, so now we can see where the enemies come from. Let's just do right there. We're gonna get a hero choice soon. All right, slaying these suckers, level up. Archer Tower, let's do... Maybe we'll do crit di crit chance on this boy. Auto level that. Alrighty. What can we do here now, folks? We can hire another worker, that's what we can do. Flip ya, brah. <laughs> All right, let's do... more wood production. And we could do economy budget. All building upgrades become cheaper. Let's do it. We could do golden fertility, increase wheat production. Let's make it happen. Now we can do another arrow tower. Got a plus two position, a plus three right there. That could be sweet. That could be fancy schmancy pantsy. Let's do the plus three and let's explore. I feel like we're already doing better than last time, folks. Slaying these fools. Got him. All right, we got a hero. This guy brings a hundred wood with him. That would be pretty cool. This guy brings 35 gold though, and he has a slow ability and a fireball. Slow ability would be pretty cool. Let's go with Eric. He brought a lot of gold, so we could do a lot of cool kick-ass upgrades, and we could do an arc tower. Permanently unlock the arc tower. It emits lightning that jumps to foes with damage decreasing per jump. Let's unlock it. And what does it require? It requires five wood and 15 stone to start out with. But remember, every time you build another tower, it gets more expensive. All right. What do we want to do here? Where do we want to place this bad boy? Might want to place it right there. Oh, no, that's a good spot. Plus three right there. Okay. Let's have him target groups. The, uh, focus the largest cluster of enemies. Set that as number one. And let's slow the game back down to times one. 
And do I want to do any upgrades? We need 50 gold to upgrade this bad boy to produce more wood. Uh, four gold or four. Yeah, four gold to upgrade gold production here. 18. Let's do it two times. That's a long term investment there. Let's upgrade production of stone twice as well. All right. Hopefully that pays off. Let's let's get in there. Alright, we kicking ass now, baby. Slow those guys down. Do a fireball. Now he's out of energy. We got him, baby. Kicking their ass. They will be destroyed. They have nothing. Oh, look at this. Bodkin arrow. It's a legendary rating banner. Increases fire rate for your arrow towers by 56%. I mean... You gotta do it. That's why it's legendary. Beautiful. All right, level up on this central volcano mortar tower. Let's do... I like how it tells you how many kills it's, it has. It has 21 kills already. Damage per second per wave is 27. Not bad. Not bad. Let's increase crit chance and have that auto upgrade. That'd be cool. What do we got going on here? We need 80, 80 wheat to do another worker. That is kind of brutal. Kind of brutal, if you ask me. Don't like that at all. Not a whole lot I can do, to be honest, folks. We have another banner choice coming at wave nine. It's wave six. Could do another arrow tower. just doing right there let's explore we'll wait to use our hero abilities until we really need to at the end of the waves let's try to play it small shall we oh we got those blue guys they do they have a lot more health what are those guys anyway they move a lot slower. They're called Raiders. They have a thousand hit points. All right, beautiful. Obliterated those fools. They got nothing, baby. All right, lovely. We could do another arc tower as well. That could be nice. That could be real nice. That could be everything I've ever dreamed of. Let's do plus two right there for the arc tower. And I think we're good to go, baby. Oh yeah, we're 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 in the money now. Look at that. Yes! You will die! Send all of your minions! Send them all to their doom! You fools! How do they keep reproducing? They must be just making sweet love like bunny rabbits. Where are they getting all these soldiers? How was their population able to support such death? My goodness. My goodness. Kind of impressive, to be honest. Kind of impressive. All right. Yes. Okay. Um. Let's do. I guess tax burden, which makes it so each worker generates one gold per wave. So now we're getting plus thirteen gold every wave. That's. Pretty nice, pretty nice. We got two towers that are leveled up for free. One of them's a lightning. Um, let's do... 
Could do range. Nah, let's do damage. Get that hot DPS action, baby. The hot DPS. Let's do fire rate increase for this archer tower right there. That's hot. That's hot. Um, do we want to save up our wood? Might be good to save up our wood to get the brewery and then get the tavern. Hmm. Right? Wait, where do we get... Oh, workshop, reduce your tower building cost by 10%. We need 75 wood. That'd be a good one to save up for. Let's try to aim for that, shall we? Let's explore. I'm surprised we have not reached a a um a branching path yet. Usually usually that happens. up our hero's energy. No one has made it to our wall yet. Our gate is in perfect working order. Nope. Oop, 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 oop. Did I speak too soon? Nope. Got him, baby. Decimated. All right. Crescendo Blast. Legendary. Reduces the area of effect of the volcano mortar in general. Every fourth shot... Wait. What? Every fourth shot is much larger? Oh. So it reduces the general area of effect radius, but then the fourth one is huge. It goes from 80% to 240 every fourth shot. Ooh, I don't know about that. Hmm. That's tempting. That's tempting. Let's do a reroll, guys. Crap. Let's do area of effect increase to 35% for the Volcano Mortar. And we can upgrade this Archer Tower. Let's do, let's see, what do we want to do with this bad boy? Would range be good on this one? Maybe. Let's do, let's do that. That's a good one right there, honestly. Solid one right there. Very solid. What can we do here, folks? Okay, I was gonna do workshop. Building tower costs reduced by 10%. That allowed us to do another arc tower. Yes. Plus four range. Yes. Rock and roll, dude. Oh, they're coming from two different directions. Look at that, folks. We're getting serious now. Oh, we got a big boy. It's Ice's ass. Fireball is ass. He has 11,000 hit points. You can see top left here. I clicked on him. Is he going to do extra damage to my wall? Or will I lose the game? If he even makes it. Finally doing damage because all the other enemies are dead. He's only halfway down though. I don't know if we're going to be able to do this. Nope. I think I think we're I think we might lose here. Is this I, I'm curious to see what's about to happen. We still have 13 life points on the gate. Let's see what happens here. You do. He just wrecks it, destroys it. Beautiful! Well, we have met our demise for the second time. We can choose a reward though. You could do an oracle or a hero tower. The oracle grants you a look into the future. You can choose a path that steers the course according to your wishes. Or we can do a hero tower, increase spell damage of hero spells and gain more energy and other magical improvements. That sounds cool, let's do that. Neato, dude, and we can unlock some more perks. We have a total of 98 hero points. We can do Sylvan Gift, start the next game with 20 extra wood. That's kind of huge, to be honest. Hmm. 
or we could do practice makes perfect for the workshop. The inflation rate for repeated construction of the same tower type is reduced by 10%. So it's gonna make towers a lot cheaper in general. Let's do that. Glorious. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for episode one. Went a little longer than I was expecting. We're at about 42 minutes almost. Anyway, guys, I think that should give you a pretty decent look at the game. As you can tell, your consecutive waves go a lot further than your preceding ones, and uh, the game just gets a lot crazier the longer you play, the longer you explore out into the fog, in the wilderness, in the unknown. Anyway, guys, I'm sure I'm going to be playing this game a lot more in the future. If you guys enjoyed what you did see here today with your little eyeballs, then a thumbs up and a subscription to the channel would help out quite a bit, folks. Anyway, with that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, day, afternoon, evening, whatever the heck it might be, wherever you reside on this blue ball we call Earth. And with that, I'll see you fine folks in the next one. Later, peeps.